Hello, my name is Thomas Lenortner. I'm with Magna Powertrain and I'm going to explain you the all-wheel drive system called Dynamax of the 2013 Hyundai Santa Fe. The Dynamax all-wheel drive system is installed on the rear axle of the car. You see it's a multi-plate wet clutch and it transfers the torque which is coming from the prop shaft. Uh, it transfers the right amount of torque to the rear axle and then to the wheels. Second, Dynamax is also safer. Why? Dynamax does have a very high thermal capacity, so now if you're, for example, towing a trailer uh, or driving up a mountain road, the all-wheel drive system, when it, has really, when it really has to work hard, would not shut off. In addition, also like if you're going very dynamic on roads, it only sends the right amount of torque to the rear axle and therefore uh, avoids unwanted under or oversteer of the car. The third advantage is actually efficiency, and everybody knows what that's all about, about improving fuel economy. So basically, when you have all-wheel drive and whenever you transfer too much torque to the rear axle, you would have a higher fuel consumption. So what Dynamax actually does is it anticipates if you're just going on a highway, then you don't really need to transfer the torque to the rear axle, and therefore it helps you to save fuel by cutting back the torque which is being sent to the secondary axle. So how does the Dynamax hardware look like? So you see here a nice cutaway model. Uh, the prop shaft would mount here, this here, this shaft would go to the rear axle, and you see a multi-plate wet clutch here. This clutch is being actuated by a piston, uh, by a hydraulic piston, and you have a very small motor here, and uh, this motor can build up pressure to control this piston chamber. And if you would look in there, there's also a very small pump. It's almost like a Swiss watch. Uh, with that small pump, by rotating the motor, you can increase the pressure here, and with a pressure sensor here, we are monitoring the right pressure, which is equivalent uh, to uh, torque capacity of the coupling. 